Hi, this is Carl with another SOP video for managed service providers. And today I want to talk about explore versus exploit. What does that mean? Well, psychologists have this dichotomy that they talk about, a paradox between exploring and exploiting. And this actually applies to your marketing as well. So no matter what you do in business, you spend some of your time figuring out where should I go? What should I do? What should I try next? Which product should I sell? And that's the exploration piece of it. And then, if you're lucky, you get to the exploit part. The exploit part is simply when you find something that works, you go for it, right? A perfect example. If you're old enough, you remember the period between 2003 and 2008. So, Microsoft had this product called Small Business Server 2003. It was awesome. And it had some service packs and updates and whatever. But basically, in that five-year period, we sold essentially the same product, the same services, the same bundle, again and again and again and again. It was literally like printing money. And then, skip ahead a bit, so about 2010-11, a lot of us discovered a thing called the cloud. And what we started to do is spend the last 10 years taking a bundle that I call the Cloud 5 Pack and selling that set of services again and again and again and again. When you get to the exploit change, it means that you've reached a point where you can just take something and say, all right, in mores or lesses, I'm going to do that thing again and again and again and make a bunch of money. And no matter what you come up with, there's a time when it just doesn't have as much return. It slows down. You know, lots of other people enter the market. Whatever. Something happens and you got to move on. This exact same thing happens with your marketing. So you always have to explore. When you think about marketing, marketing is this complex set of things where you have to do advertising. You have to get people into the top of the funnel and then you send them to a landing page. But the landing page has to get them to click. So what are they going to click on? They're going to click on your offer or they're going to click on a video or they're going to get a, a download or they're going to agree to have an appointment. Whatever it is, right? And then you hold the appointment. Now the appointment has to do its job and then you go in there and you do a network analysis or something. You give them a report. The report has to do its job. It's got to get you another meeting. Then you go to that meeting and you say, hey, what can we do for you? Here's what we do for a living, blah, 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 right? Eventually, you work your way down to making a sale. But every piece of that process has to constantly go through this cycle where you explore and exploit. So get ads, try different ads until you get one that works, and then exploit it like crazy. Try different techniques for putting together proposals. And then when you find one that works, use it like crazy, right? It's only when things stop working that you need to go do some more exploration. And you have to accept the fact everything stops working eventually. So marketing, as well as the rest of your business, is a never-ending tale of you constantly finding new things, figuring out what works, figuring out what works today because it didn't work yesterday and it won't work tomorrow. <laughs> so it's this never ending story. So unfortunately, that's part of the business of being in business is you just have to go out there and go through the cycle, explore, exploit, explore, exploit for the rest of the time that you're in business. In particular, don't get worn out by the fact that this is a piece of your marketing strategy. It just has to be. You know, if you think about just your own self, if somebody sent you an email, you probably just deleted it without looking at it. 20 years ago, you would have opened it because you don't get that much email. Today, you get overwhelmed. By the same regard, five years ago, you would have thrown out mail without opening it. But now you get something in the post and you're like, ah, maybe that's worth in, you know, looking at. That might be interesting. So everything's got its own cycles and you have to figure out what is working today and exploit it. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Polichuk wishing you the best of luck in your managed service business. Like it if you like it, share it with your friends, and absolutely subscribe to the channel. <music>